Hello, my name is Marcelo Vignali, and we're going to go deep, deep into the design laboratory in order to take a look at compositional storytelling. Years ago, I was given a chance to work on Brother Bear for Walt Disney. This was uh, a very challenging uh, project, but it was also uh, sort of a dream come true. That's one of the things I absolutely love is drawing animals, and, uh, and I was allowed to do that on this project. Um, when uh, I first started doing work for the project, uh, I started doing these designs for the environment. And what ended up happening was that I ended up doing some roughs of some of the characters, and uh, Aaron Blaze and Chuck Williams, they, they were so happy with the work that I had done for them and the characters that uh, the rest of the work that I did for this particular project, I was drawing uh, both the humans and drawing the animals uh, because they found that uh, in my way of drawing that uh, it, it helped the artists uh, think beyond just uh, animation. Uh, animators have a tendency to simplify designs in order so that they can move them. Uh, and for myself, we're having an illustration background as well as an animation background that uh, I've, uh, I had this unique way of breaking things down while still trying to preserve the, uh, the design of the animal, the, in, the design integrity of the animal and not simplify it. And that this would give the artists, the animators, an opportunity to look at something that uh, had a little bit more design that supported the, that particular character and they could take that and extrapolate that into their animation designs. Um, so the, uh, so here I was, I was doing the drawings for the backgrounds and I had an idea about how I wanted to present the world. Now it's, it's not so important to just know how to draw, but you also have to know uh, what to draw, you know, you're, you're being told uh, it's in the script or the story, uh, but you also have to ideate, but then it's also, how do you tell that story? What's your idea about the story? How do you feel about it? How do you want the audience to feel about it? So all of those are questions that you internalize and then you, uh, you try to create solutions for. In this case here, uh, I had an idea about the environments and I wanted the world to seem bigger than the characters. I wanted it to feel like a character itself, but like the main character of the story. And that all of our uh, our lead characters that we have in the story, so it's Kenai and, uh, and, and Coda and all these other characters, that they're sort of like the supporting cast in a larger world. And that's something that I wanted to create. And in order to do that, I started generating some ideas. And it was very quickly that I realized that if I wanted to tell an epic story, I was going to have to move that camera. I couldn't let the camera stay still because when you hold the camera still, there are different ways that you can try to create that storytelling to make the world feel bigger. But you'll notice in all epic films, what they do is they move that camera. And I realized that I was going to have to do the same. But it's not just moving the camera for the sake of moving the camera. It's like a big vista view and you're shooting. No, no, no. I wanted to... I wanted to continue to do storytelling, but at the same time, motivate that camera with the characters at the same time I'm opening up the world. So I didn't want the audience to catch on that they were actually seeing a bigger world. I wanted them to, be, to follow the characters in the storytelling at the same time I was revealing uh, a bigger world for them. So let's, uh, let's go ahead and just jump right in and discuss some of the compositional storytelling and some of the things that I was doing in order to uh, build this world for Brother Bear. <laughs> 